Maybe there. Ow, finger stuck. Today, we're gonna be upgrading the solder fume extractor. We are gonna be upgrading my DIY solder fume extractor. So if you're a new subscriber or a I almost said old, but I'm gonna say previous or used subscriber. In the past, I've made my DIY solder fume extractors from a server fan, Tupperware, a whole bunch of carbon filters, and a hose, pretty much. Kind of like this guy right here. And what I have on this side is a Delta P2780, and it moves a lot of air. And to absorb as many solder fumes as possible, I end up stuffing this Tupperware full of those carbon filters. To power this beast, I usually just use a 12-volt wall wart or transformer. The only problem with that is you have to find one with sufficient amount of power. The other problem with this is, I don't know if you've heard server fans, but they are ridiculous loud. And the hose that I have attached to this thing is only about six or seven feet. So whenever you turn this thing on, it is just loud. And one of the other downfalls, depending on how often you use one of these, you have to replace the carbon filters. That's not too bad because if you stuff it as full as I do, it takes quite a bit of time for them to wear out. And a new box is only like six bucks for four new pads. And these work out pretty good. Now, if you're like me and occasionally do just like a quick solder job, you know, like a one or two jobby type thing, I'm gonna be honest, I don't always break this thing out just because it's kind of a pain in the ass to do, which isn't a good idea because solder fumes are pretty toxic. Also from using this so much, I've actually cracked both sides and I need to throw some tape on there, but I'm not even gonna worry about that because I'm gonna do a little bit of a upgrade, Average Joe style. And another reason for this solder fume extractor upgrade is in preparation H for soldering all the 4S 88P packs that I'm gonna be throwing outside for a winter test and also the 14S 100P packs that I'm going to be building hopefully here soon, I'm gonna be adding to my current power wall. So what I ended up doing was went to eBay, found 50 feet of that vinyl dryer vent Stuff, and a deflecto and a deflecto easy dock quick connect and the plan is to cut a hole in the ceiling hook up the hose run it over to the wall run it to another wall and then run it straight back to my extra fireplace that we don't ever use in the basement because I mean lugging wood down here just to heat up the basement well I guess the heat would go upstairs too but damn that's a lot of work I've only done it like twice it is not fun so what I'm gonna do is make some good use of that spare fireplace I'm gonna shove the hose in there along with a new and bigger server fan shove it inside that fireplace open up the flue put some sort of covering over the front and then I'll probably for the time being is just run an extension cord over there because I have an extra switch right over here so then I won't have any more excuses not to use a solder fume extractor. I'm gonna be upgrading the fan to a bigger Delta server fan. This one is also a DC brushless fan and the model number is PFC1212DE. 12 volts, 3.24 amps. And the quick disconnect feature will be quite an upgrade because then if I need it kind of focused in one spot, I can just plug it right into the ceiling, go to town. And if I just need to get rid of some air, then I can just turn it on and not hook up the deflecto easy dock thingy. All right, let's get to it.
Alrighty, I think that is a damn good upgrade. Now, of course, some of it is a little janky, you know, that's fine because it's average Joe, that's what I do. So now that that is done, I don't have any excuses. All I have to do is hit the little switch and air is extracting. Now I don't have any more excuses not to use a solder fume extractor. And if I do, it is pretty sad because all I have to do is hit the switch. Now it seems to work pretty good with that fan on there and a plus, it's not very loud. Let me turn it on again. Can you hear that? Not really. 
I mean, maybe the camera microphone can, but it is not loud at all, and that is awesome. I had some extra carpet pad from whenever we did our carpet 10 years ago. Yeah, I still had a piece. I ended up putting that on the inside to kind of muffle the sound just a little bit more, and I think that helped out quite a bit. And another thing that's great is it doesn't sound like a damn vacuum cleaner right here. That's what the other one sounded like. If you got kind of close to the end of the tube, it sounded like a vacuum cleaner. This one is pretty damn quiet. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, of course, I will be finding out exactly how well it works whenever I start doing the soldering on the 4S 88P packs over here, hopefully tomorrow or the next day, and we'll see how well it actually works. If it doesn't work that well, then I will find a bigger and better fan, but I don't think I'm going to have too much of a problem. All right, well, that's pretty much all I got. Thank you very much for watching. Just like always, I will leave a link down below for the 50-foot vinyl hose and the easy quick disconnect dryer vent thingy which I might actually get one or two more because I kind of like the way it looks and if I put you know a few randoms down here that might be kind of nice I don't know we'll see that's pretty much all I got don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next one what are you guys using for your solder fume extractor extractor a uh, um, ordered 50 feet, 50 feet. And if I just need to get rid of some 